Today, let's build the easiest early game iron farm possible in all of Minecraft. But not only is it easy, but it produces a ton of iron. So step number one is to find yourself a village, and then once we're here, we have to break all of the beds. And after you've collected all the beds, also take down any iron golems already in the village. All right, now that we have the iron golems taken care of and all the beds collected, what we're gonna do is find a nice flat spot near our village. I recommend doing this in a plains biome so it's easiest, but it can be in the village. It can be fairly far away from the village, whatever works for you. I just recommend doing this close to the village because we are gonna be transporting the villagers, but looks like around this area near the lake should be pretty nice. This is a nice big flat area. and This should give us enough room to do our thing. All right, so once you have your flat area picked out, here's what we need to build this. Of course, some blocks, any type of slab, buttons, signs, three of any kind of workstation that a villager can use. So these can be smokers, these can be fletching tables, these can be barrels like I have here. A chest, hoppers, water, lava, a boat for transporting villagers, and a zombie, and then a shovel. All right, first we're gonna make the place where our iron golems actually get a <clears throat> taken care of. And for that, we're gonna make a five, 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 hole. Once we have this dug out, we're also going to dig out this second layer here. So it's five by five, and it's two blocks deep. And then on the other side of this, we're going to build up with our blocks like this, just five of our blocks, and then we're going to go seven blocks this way. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once we have these two rows built, we're going to just connect them like this, and then we're gonna raise the whole thing up by one more block. So we have a five by five by two hole, and then we have this five by seven by two little thing which is gonna contain our villagers. So facing the hole we built here, we can place our three workbenches like this, and on top of them, three buttons. Now behind these workbenches, we can place those beds that we picked up earlier. It doesn't matter what color beds, I just picked white beds because uh, I think they look the best. The rest of the beds, you can do whatever you want with. We only need three. So now right here, right behind the beds, we're going to place three slabs like that, and then on this entire top layer of this little box we have here, we're going to completely cover it in buttons, just like that. Now for the next step, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create some blocks like this so that our villagers can access the beds. Now if we're close enough to the village, the villagers should automatically go to the beds. Although we might be a little bit too far away, and so if that's the case, we can use a boat to take them close by and uh, help them out a little bit. And then once they're close enough, they should automatically... Yep, there we go. Go to the bed, buddy. <laughs> once you have all your villagers in bed, you are uh, you're good to go. So next, what we're going to do here is locate this gap right here. And starting on this block right here, take your shovel. And we're going to go out seven blocks making path blocks. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna do the same thing from this corner block right here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When those two corners are in place, we're going to connect them by making a large box around this whole farm and making all of these blocks path blocks. Once you have all your path blocks in place, we're gonna go in this little hole and break the two middle blocks just like this. On one side, place your chest and then right in the middle, Place your hopper. Now time for the signs. Directly on top of the hopper, place one sign, and then we're going to place one here, one in front of it, one on this wall, one in front of it, and do this for all the walls of this little pit we're in. And then lava goes on this top sign here, whereas in the corners go your water. The reason we had two buckets is so that you can make an infinite water source, and there you go. Okay, after that, we are almost done, and we're on the final step. Now, this is super easy. What you're going to do is take these grass blocks here and turn them all into path blocks. Once you've done that, take your boat, place it, go in the boat, and position yourself as close to the beds as you can. The boat should be directly underneath these slabs here. This little part of the farm is going to be where our zombie lives, and the zombie will be protected by these slabs, and the zombie won't despawn because he's always going to be trying to get the villagers. So what you can do is just temporarily make a little hole in here so that the zombie can get inside, and then we have to wait for nighttime and find ourselves a zombie. Now the zombie should kind of go for the villagers on his own, but uh, if you need to help him a little bit, 
Maybe just get close to the farm. Let's see if he goes for it. Oh, no, he didn't buy it. I'll go inside. Come here, dude. And there we go. He can't get to us, but once he's in there, uh, fix your farm, and you're good to go. Iron golems will immediately start to spawn. It's that easy. What's almost a little crazy is usually these farms take a while to start working, but this farm is, like, it's, it's pretty instant. And uh, since your zombie's always protected by this, this farm works day and night. But yeah, that's about it. With this spawning platform we have, it makes it so that iron golems only spawn inside of here, and we have this platform outside. Of course, you could build this anywhere. You don't need this near a village. You could just be placing path blocks on your own in any way to transport villagers, but I recommend this as an early game farm since it is fairly simple. And then as long as the villagers and the zombie are loaded in, uh, this farm will be working, and wow, this is a... Uh, working pretty quickly <laughs> but that's all for this farm i really hope you guys enjoyed because this is one of the easiest and best early game iron farms i've seen in minecraft yet every update i feel like we just get better and better farms but i appreciate you guys for watching if you found this useful please leave a like subscribe all that good stuff my name is jay wisp and i will see you guys all in the next video